burn is in so much confusion fighting and killing in the So many, so many are dying because of the color and the glad to see you all here. I'm glad to be here. It has been so long since I've stood in concert and sang. 
So I'm just overjoyed that you came to share with me this afternoon. The song I just sung was from my very first album. And let me tell you, all the songs that I'm going to do today are original compositions that God has allowed me to write. And let me encourage you because this is going to be like a collective effort. If you know the background to some of these songs, sing them. Don't be scared. I heard somebody trying to sing the background to that song, What's the Matter? Yeah. Anyway, um, uh, this next song that I'm going to do is, is a title cut from my latest CD. And it's a testimony, as, as most of my songs are, probably all of them, are personal testimonies. How many of you, when you wake up in the morning, you say, thank you, Lord? Because <laughs> he didn't have to do it, <laughs> but he did. So the lyric to this song says, every time I wake before I start my day, I say, thank you, Lord. Amen. Come on, Zach. Give me a little more. This song is called Good to Me. Every time I wake before I start my day, I say thank you, Lord. Knowing it was not me, cause I've been so good that you spared me, Lord. Oh, you're good to me. Good to me. You're so good to me, Father. Father, you're good to me. Good to me. You're so kept me, you have never left me, you're always there, you're always there, picking up the pieces of my broken heart, Lord, I know you care.
to me, yes you are, you're good to me Lord, mm. I know I don't deserve all of your good, I know I don't serve you just as I should, but you've been good to me Father, you've been good, Lord you've been, you've been good to me, you're 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 so good to me, yet you are, mm. you're good to me, Lord. Now, every song that I'm doing today, you can either get it on YouTube, Spotify, iTunes, CD, baby, everywhere. <laughs> everywhere, you can get it everywhere. Every song I'm singing, you can get it. So, you know, patronize me. <laughs> All right, I'm going to change positions. Did y'all know I could play the piano? <laughs> Sometimes I can be a comedian. Y'all don't know that side of me, though. <laughs> this song, you know, people ask me how, how do you write? And uh, sometimes the Lord just speaks to my heart and gives me an idea and, and tells me to do it and I do it and I remember when this song when it came to me I was reading in the 14th chapter of St. John and Jesus was telling his disciples he's going away uh, and one of the disciples says master we don't know where you're going the way you're going and he said I am the way the truth and the life and those words stuck to my spirit and the Lord led me to write this song and I believe this song should be in the National Baptist hymnal and the AME hymnal and I'm going to try and submit it to them uh, and see it's my hymn I call it my hymn and it goes like this <laughs> Price 
believe in him salvation will it will be yours only only Jesus by Miss Cassetta George. Uh, um, Reverend Isaac Whitman out of Chicago. Helen Stevens and the Voices of Christ. And I'm very thankful to them for doing it. Um, what's the next one, Tony? Yeah. This is a request. Now, I truly haven't sung this song probably in 30 years. <laughs> uh, wonderful song from the album produced by the late Reverend DJ Rogers. It says, Jesus knows when we're tempted. knows Jesus knows how much we can bear you believe that and Jesus knows the solution What we need before we ask him, Ooh, Jesus knows, Jesus knows how much we can
I just remembered, this is one of the Henry Jackson Company, and she's singing on this particular record. Glenda Thomas, she's sitting over there with the Church of God in Christ hat on. <laughs> she's a, a, a living testimony. She's gone through three strokes. And she's had to learn to talk again and how to walk, but she never lost her joy. No, and she's still here. Amen. Oh, all right. Uh, <laughs> see, that's what I'm talking about. People start calling off songs. <laughs> calling off songs. Now this group of uh, folks sitting up here, I want to introduce them formally. This is a group that was formed out of the Voices of Praise Choir here at the church. And how this came about, when the pandemic, when the pandemic hit, our rehearsals were discontinued. You know, most churches, they shut down, right? So, uh, our president of the choir said, well, maybe we can get a few folk who are uh, available during the daytime. You know, most people work jobs and what have you. But we were able to find some who were not working. <laughs> I'm not going to say retired. But <laughs> so this is the Cager Pearls. And we wanted to honor our pastor, Pastor John Cager, and these are the Cager Pearls. Come on, give him another hand. Uh, I took that song out. Come on. This is another song that... And I recorded this originally with the LA chapter of the Gospel Music Workshop. But it, uh, but this song is, is, is really dear to my heart because I believe in prayer. I don't know about anybody else. Because prayer worked. I'm a witness. And God always answers prayer. Sometimes we don't like to answer, but he will answer. Ain't that right? Yeah. Amen. I originally wrote this song for Brother Ricky Barber, who was a member of the Henry Jackson Company. And he only got the opportunity to sing it once. And then he passed away. But he had been begging me for a song. I want one original song. So I gave it to him. I know what song I forgot. Maddie's song. All right. We'll do it after this. All right. I believe. I believe in prayer 
when the burdens get hard to bear. Pray not only, not only when things are going bad, but for every, every one of the good things, you ought to give thanks in prayer. Oh, 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 oh. Yes, I do. I believe in. I believe in prayer. Oh, I, I come on. I be. That's it. I believe in prayer. Prayer can roll. All of your dark clouds away Said I I believe in prayer Prayer works miracles Each and every day God answers God answers prayer I got a witness. Come on. Prayer. Prayer will help you. Yes, it will. Prayer will help you to go through. Said I sure do. I really do believe in prayer. You know what? Prayer changes things. Prayer changes people to God answers. Mm -hmm. God answers prayer. That's it. God, God answers prayer. Tried him, and I know that he will. Can I find a witness? Is there anybody here that know God will? Is there anybody here? Say yeah, yeah. Say yeah. I know he will. I know he will. I know God will. The Lord I open to the cry to the cry of the righteous call on him call on the Lord come on come on help me say it God answers prayer come on
was supposed to take a break, but I ain't going to. I, I feel like singing. I'm, I'm going to keep going for a little while longer. Is that all right? Um, two of my duets, you know, it's funny. We, we, we quote this scripture all the time. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadows of death, I will do what? Fear no evil. But they can't come to church because of COVID. For God has not given us the spirit of what? We can't come to church, though. Go everywhere else. We can't come to church. So, I, I, I ain't walking in fear. But one of my guests, Maddie Curry Davis, who I wrote one of my, to me, greatest compositions, and she brought it to life. Uh, I'm going to, as I attempt to sing that, I can't sing it because I didn't write it for me, but I love the song so much. I'm just going to sing a part of it. Y'all can come in where you know it. Lord, we struggle down here for peace among all men. For we know soon it will be the end. Lord, unite us together. Touch our hearts with your finger of love. Oh, and help us, Master. She's watching and she's probably grinning right now for me to sing her song. Uh -huh. um, another song that uh, is, I, I really derived, I took it from a hymn. Yeah, come on, per the, the pearls are going to help me with this one. <laughs>
guests here. I'm going to introduce them later, but uh, the pastor's going to come now and just give me about five minutes. Is that all right? I'm not even going to change clothes. I ain't doing none of that. I'll be right back. I just need a breather. <laughs> It's all right to clap, y'all. <laughs> Come on, give God some praise. All over the building, you know, we are blessed to have uh, a legend in gospel music. Uh, like I said, the most prolific artist, I believe, in Los Angeles recording history, and one who has written... Uh, some incredible songs I'm hoping that I can hear saved later on in the program at some point. Uh, this has been a tradition for Henry Jackson for several years because of COVID. He hasn't been able to do it, but this is his birthday concert. Amen? And he shares his musical gifts just as he shares his gift of music here with the folks at Ward and Me. We, we can't afford him, so he's adjusted uh, uh, his, his, his rates to uh, fit us when he blesses us on Sundays and at funerals and when he comes in here. But uh, this is his birthday concert. He's picked up all of the overhead, all of the expenses and whatnot. And we want to be a blessing to Brother Henry on his birthday. And so I know that we are all sons and daughters of the king. We are all Christians, and we know as a Christian, you don't come uh, with a handful of gimme and a mouthful of much obliged. You know, when God has fed you, when you've been fed, you want to, to give a little something. So I'm going to ask if Brother Pitts can come forward. I'm going to ask if Brother Pitts can come forward because we want to be a blessing to Henry. We know there are 150-something folks watching on YouTube last time I checked. I don't know who all is watching on Dr. Jackson's Facebook uh, uh, page, but if you can be a blessing to Henry, uh, we want to give you an opportunity to do so. For those of you who are electronic givers like I am, if you are an electronic giver, you have the opportunity to give to him via Cash App. If you will look at the screen, you will see dollar sign Hawk Music LLC, dollar sign, Hawk Music, LLC. 
My wife is watching. Now I'm going to ask if she will give $50 for me. She can get what she wants for herself. But I'm going to ask if she could just make a gift of $50 for uh, Dr. Jackson for me. And she can give her own offering. For those of you who are electronic givers, if, you can, if you're a Cash App user, uh, there you go right there. For those of you who are, are, are present and you write checks, I'm going to ask if Brother Pitts... We'll, 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 we'll monitor that giving receptacle right there. In fact, uh, uh, Brother Pitts, I'm going to ask if you can just bring it to the edge of the altar right there. And for those of you who are of a mind, to me, let's see if there's a basket in there. Let's see. At the bottom. Open it up, amen. Uh, grab, you know what? Grab that purple basket over there then. Amen. And we're going to ask if there are those of you who want to be a blessing uh, to Henry Jackson uh, uh, via cash. We're going to ask that uh, as uh, the incomparable Tony Coleman uh, plays a little something, we're just going to take two, three minutes. And those of you who want to uh, drop in some cash or a check, you can make checks payable to Henry Jackson. We're going to ask that you just come up as the spirit leads you. And if you don't want to come up, uh, if you raise your hand, I'm going to ask Brother Keith if he will go and pick it up. But if you want to be a blessing to Henry Jackson, as we hear uh, uh, just a, a little something from, from uh, the incredible Tony Coleman and the band, let's be a blessing to our friend. Amen. Again, if you're giving electronically, dollar sign, Hawk Music, LLC. Let's help pay for the lights and the sound and the drums, and the streaming. If he's been a blessing. Just raise your hands. We want to be a blessing to Dr. Jackson. Still got some hands up, Brother Keith. Amen. If you wanted to be a blessing, just raise your hand again so we can see you. You got some stage left. Amen. Still got some hands raised, amen, I think in the back. Again, if you're giving electronically for cash out, dollar sign, Hawk Music, LLC. Hawk for that majestic figure that Henry Jackson cuts when he stands. You know, I'm going to get me one of them sparkling jackets, you know, and the shoes to match. Anybody else? Raise your hand if we haven't gotten you. There, that's, amen. There's still some hands raised in the North Chapel. Amen. Come on, we want to help pay for the lights and for the air. And The bass player looks hungry. He gotta, Henry got to feed him afterwards. Amen. Bless God. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
Now let it not be said that I touched a nickel of what you blessed for Henry. So I'm going to put it right there under his piano. And I want a cage of pearl with a gun to keep an eye on the piano. Come on, let's give God a hand clap of praise for the incredible talent of Henry Jackson. Tell your neighbor, neighbor, part two is going to be off the chain. of the Gospel Music Gazette, a very fine magazine dealing with gospel artists and gospel music over the years. He's a historian. So he said he has a special person on the phone. So come on up, Eric. Someone on the phone that wants to say something to me. Hello, everyone. I'm sure you all are familiar with Dr. Henry Jackson after all the heavenly singing we just heard. Can we just give him a round of applause? I really feel honored to be here. Uh, this man here has uh, uh, embedded so much music into our lives, and uh, his, his legacy will never be forgotten, and we just honor you today. But in case anyone need any more information about this man, uh, right around 1968, no, the end of 1969, uh, he began to sing with the famed Los Angeles Community Choir. And it's only befitting to have the founder, Harrison Bubba Johnson, say a few words to Henry Jackson. Are you there? Yeah. All right. Okay, go ahead. Hello there. Hello, everybody. I said, hey. Let that little bottle. Hello, everybody. Hello. Hello. Just like, just like, just like anything else. Let's give God the praise first. Let's praise the Lord for a second. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. The last night you in the 60s. I was I, I had a bad little taste. You know, I came back and I we on we on in the Israeli community choir again in 1963. We were all in the we were all in 1965. Like that, I was like a thing in high school and all the Israeli community choir because of the Los Angeles City College. But I will tell you this: so one day. One day I had uh, this is on the home that's always a lot. Uh it's a good that my that the something was good or whatever whatever happened. Anyway, I had asked him to Doctor Hold on for one second, can you can you I had a lot of people around me Chicago, but I was standing by myself. But one of my main four had left me and went on the the alarm pass. Look, we all have a path to the wall, and we can't dodge it, no matter which way we can't be going. And if Jesus Christ beat you, he can beat you where he wants you to go. And this happened to us. And we will have to go by himself, or leave barriers. So he did not have to do what he had to do. But I want to tell you this. I remember, I remember the delay a couple of weeks ago. I just, I, I was in the hospital about two months ago, three months, three months, I was in the, I was in the hospital, and I, I, they found me in my house on the floor in the, in the kitchen, and I had been laid there for three days, I was in a coma, three days, and it, they, the gas had been on for three days, and, and I was just about dead, and they rushed me to the hospital, and I, I had had a massive stroke. The whole left side. I've been in the wheelchair ever since. But uh, but uh, I was the next stroke. And I, when I came out of the hospital, 
I realized that I had just called myself to retire from gospel music. I'm, I'm a little over uh, 35 years old. I'm a little over 35. And uh, you, you, you didn't hear that, did you? Oh. Bubba. Oh. Bubba. Yeah? You can't tell it all. You can't tell it all. We, we got to move on with the program. <laughs> That's right. I met this young man here that put it something up. When I met this young man here, and I had asked the Lord for him a long time ago, we didn't know if I had asked the Lord for him, but he came to me. And I, ever since then, he's been with me in my heart, every, in the, and in the way I go, he's mine. So I, I'd like to introduce to you, if you don't know who he is, one of the greatest I've ever been in my life. One of the best beat singers, piano players, singer, whatever you want. He comes out of the gospel field and you catch him just a day. Amen. Thank you. And for those of you who don't know, Harrison Johnson wrote the most incredible song that's going to live on forever. And everybody sings it. I decided to make Jesus my choice. And when I joined that choir, I was a youngster. What y'all looking at me like that for? I was. That song came out in uh, 1968, I think. 68. But I thank God for the experience of being in the Harrison Johnson Los Angeles Community Choir. That man gave me the opportunity when the Lord started using me to write songs and I I came to Bubba and I said, I have this song, which was Help Us Master. And he said, Jackson, I like that. So uh, can I teach you to the choir? Yeah, yeah, okay. And the rest is history. It just went on and on. God kept giving me music. I want to acknowledge another uh, guest. I, I've already told you about Glenda Thomas, who's one of the Henry Jackson Company and her delivery. But sitting right behind her, is one of the most incredible singers. And many of you don't know, but you've heard her voice on TV down through the years. You heard her voice in Lady Sings the Blues with Diana Ross, you heard her there. You've heard her on Motown Records. I love her, she knows I love her. I've been loving her for years. Miss Sandra Blinky Williams, Santa Blinky. <laughs> She's my heart. I love her. I, I'm not going to impose, but if you decide you might want to sing a song, it'd be all right. I know one song that she sang. She can sing. Listen, she's on the original recording of The Blood That Jesus Shed For Me. She's on the original, written by Andre Crouch. You feel like you want to sing something for me? You okay? You need help? Oh, you're going to play? All right. She plays too. Enough. If you stop 
the sun from arising the moon from shining Lord, Lord, Lord you've done more more than enough you have done more, 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 more more, more, more do I have a witness? Lord, you've done more Just to magnify your name oh, You are great You're great And wonderful She's a co-writer on the Is it good times that you Is it good times that you wrote the song or, or, or You sang it on good times That's her voice you hear on good times <laughs> And then and, and the lady sings the blues She sang the, the bottle of beer Something A pig foot and a bottle of beer <laughs> also on Motown she was a Motown artist and I, the song that I love most is uh, <laughs> she sang God bless the child God bless the child she really sang it uh, I want to give a shout out to the Thomas Perkins Williams Bowman family reunion. That's my family. We had our reunion in Atlanta, Georgia a week ago, and it was truly wonderful. My family is huge. My dad is one of 18 children. My grandmama had 15 singles. That's a whole lot, ladies, huh? <laughs> There are no twins, no triplets. They're all single babies. And then Grandpa had a second wife, and he had three more. <laughs> Grandpa. So, But I enjoyed my family last week. One of my cousins, and y'all look at her every weeknight on Thursday nights, I believe it is, Law and Order, Organized Crime, with the captain on there, Danielle Monet Truitt. That's my cousin. 
And she was at the reunion. We had a good time. All right, it's time for some more singing. And Pastor, I heard you up there. It's on the program. We were saving your songs for last. Every song you mention, we're going to do. Uh, but now I'm going to bring on, uh, I, you know, I don't write songs uh, for men. I only write songs for women. And if it ain't me singing, I ain't writing it for nobody else. <laughs> but this young lady I'm going to bring up now, we recorded this song with the Brookinaires Gospel Choir. <laughs> I see them out there in the audience. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Welcome, Danielle Elizabeth Smith. <laughs> This song is called, When Will People Learn to Love? We need that, don't we?
Elizabeth Smith. I want to give a shout out to all of the folks watching on YouTube. I understand we got several people watching. Thank y'all. I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm glad. All right, Pastor, here comes your songs now. Reverend Shirley? Okay. <laughs> Oh, 
something to happen. Something happened. Good God Almighty, something happened, y'all. sung by hundreds of folk, but Brother Tony and I got together and we put a little different approach to it. Yeah, a little spice. He says a little spice. I hope you enjoy it because I have fun singing it. It's a very powerful song. Oh, it's up there. Okay.
most of the songs you've requested. It only takes one moment. Lord Jesus. We're getting ready to do I'm so thankful. That's our final number, but <laughs> who is that? And again, ex with the exception of that song I just sung, all of these other songs I've written. Uh, who is that asking for it only takes one moment? I can't see back there. Yo, who, who that sound like? Tim Bishop Brown. Uh -uh. Now see that you got yourself in trouble. 
because I want you to come up here and sing this. Come on. He loves this song and he sings it too. Come on, come on down. <laughs> now he has a brand new single out, I believe. Brand new. Tim the Bishop Brown. Come on, come on. Come on down. We want you to go that way. Yeah. Careful. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. See that? Just never know. And I'm thankful to God because he's always liked this song. Is Mel Carter here? Mel's not here. Mel is singing background on this song. You gonna play? It only takes just one moment to be saved. Does your life, Does your life seem empty? Sorry. Do you feel? here today. Amen. Amen. And I thank God for friends. I've known Tim for many, many years. And I thank God for his friendship. Uh, where did Evangelist Eugene Ross go? You still there? You trying to hide? Oh. Well, 
Come on. Come on. This is another one of my friends. <laughs> Careful of the, yeah. You want him to come around that way? Yeah. Very fine young man. Y'all probably see him at Inglewood Marjorie. He's a, he's one of the folk over there. <laughs> Uh, whatever you want to do, you're going to play. Go ahead and play. You're going to sing something. You can play for yourself. He plays. God bless you, Dr. Jackson. <laughs> Care moment, just one moment. <laughs> yes, Jesus, He loves me. support. Well, it's time to go. I got one. Oh. Oh. That looks like a cake. I don't want to know how old I am. That's why we put the question 
discussing your age. I'm serious. And do y'all know when she closed her eyes, before she closed her eyes, she told us, do not put my birthday on her program or on her gravestone. I said, Mom, what difference does it make if you're gone? She says, I don't care. Do not put my birthday. Only sunrise, not, I mean, only sunset, not sunrise. I said, well, why you don't want me to? She said, because then they're going to try to figure out how old I am when you tell them how old you are. I ain't telling it. But I'm, you know, you know anyway. <laughs> Thank you. I love you all so much. Those of you who came, I know you love me. That's why you're here. And uh, thank you to my musicians over here. I got to introduce them. On the bass, Freddie Boom Boom Flew Ellen. <laughs> On the drums, and this young man has been with me. Uh, I, I, how many years? Well, I tell you what, he was 19 when he, he started playing with me. And now he has grandchildren. Grown grandchildren. Excuse me, doctor. Dr. Jackson, what you don't know is David Jackson is now on the drums over there. Jeff did the first half and had to go. That's David? David learned this on the spot. David Jackson. Thank you, David. Yeah. You know, I only, I only get the best for, 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 for Jackson. And of course, this is the incomparable Tony Coleman. Amen. <laughs> now, Tony's been with me. We don't even know how long. We don't even know when we started. Right, 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 right. But uh, I thank God for friends. He's proven to be a friend. As I, well I as thank God for these musicians. Excuse me. Uh, Freddie yeah. took out of his time. He's like MD for a couple of, uh, couple of, of artists, and he plays with uh, Denise Williams, Emotions, um, Paul Jackson Jr. He's the MD for them, and Doc and Doc Powell, and it, it's it, it almost puts you in tears because these guys are top notch. And I said, well, <clears throat> the budget is. They said, don't worry about the budget. They didn't even let me tell them what it was. Whatever it is, I'm there. And I wanted Jackson to know that you, you are loved and appreciated. Well, they know I love them. Thank you. <laughs> Freddie, they call him Boom Boom. But Freddie, uh, Freddie know I love him. I, I loved his mother. His mother used to be Paul Kidd's ass assistant. Y'all remember the disc jockey Paul Kidd? They used to be on KGL, not K, K, KJFJ. K-Day? But wasn't he on KJFJ too? And K-Max? Yeah, but his mother was my big fan. And I thank God for him. All right, if, listen, if I've forgotten anybody, charge it to my head and not to my heart. Because I can't see that well. Uh, this eye, I had surgery on, a lot of people don't know this, but I had surgery on my right eye, and it's still swollen, so I'm kind of seeing only out of my left eye. So keep me in prayer. My family has a history of glaucoma, and uh, my dad went blind. 
three of my dad's sisters went blind. And uh, he always told me, make sure you get your eye pressure checked regularly. So I do, but I'm having a little problem over here. All right, Cage of Pearls, band, we're ready to go. Now, those of you out there that know this, I want everybody to sing, all right? Y'all been sitting long enough. Brooke and Nash, y'all know this song. <laughs> y'all been sitting long enough. Come on. Lord, you gave me peace of mind in the midst of crying times and then you made me to know yesterday Lord you'd be with me everywhere I go I won't worry Now, 
say thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Let me hear you say it. Say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Before you leave, on your way out, we just want everyone to, to point to Dr. Jackson with your right hand of faith. Repeat with me, God, keep the talent going. God, keep the blessings flowing. God, let us all be back for the birthday next year. Give God some praise on your way home. Thank the Lord. You ain't gotta go home. Hey.